I reckon there'll be that much in yeah. it. Genuinely, I think there'll be that much in it because I actually really like your team. Yeah, I like yours too, to be fair. Yeah, well done. <laughs> I think we've done well. Just finished the Fozcast with Ben. God, I, I couldn't say that then. So keep an eye out, that video will be coming out soon. Now we're gonna do our best United 11 from 2000 onwards uh, and free subs too. So over to Ben. I think we're gonna have similar teams here, you know? Yeah, I think so too. Um, before we start, how many players from the modern game have you got? No, don't answer it, don't answer it. All right, <laughs> I've, got, I've got like, I've got a solid start in 11 yeah. and then I've got a few people who I'm gonna like do as notables and I'm gonna all say, right. it could have been him, it could have been him. Yeah. All right? What formation are we going? We're gonna go old school, 4-4-2. Yeah. yeah, United in their heyday, pop in Champions League, and all we that won kind everything. Of stuff. But I still think it might be a similar team, all right? Yeah. Goalkeeper. It's got to be Van der Sar, right? It's got to be Van der Sar. Right? I heard a stat last night, actually, on radio, whatever. Still, the record holder for consecutive clean sheets in the Premier League is Edwin Van der Sar with 13. 13 clean sheets consecutively. Yeah, class. It's ridiculous. What's yours consecutively? Maybe one and a half, maybe <laughs> one and a half. All right. Um, yeah. So I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. Van Sa. Yeah. Notable mention. David De Gea. Um, it's so hard. I think for Man United to find a goalie, you <clears throat> can just do it, and you mm -hmm. know what you're gonna get. And to be fair, David De, De Gea is really good at doing that. But Van Sa, because I played yeah. with him, an absolute legend. Um, right. We're gonna go left back. Mm -hmm. Patrice Evra. Has to be Patrice Evra, doesn't it? And I know from the smile on your face, you've got Patrice Evra. <laughs> um, there's, you know, you could bring Luke Shaw into there, but still, you're talking about Patrice Evra. No. It's a different, it's a different kettle of fish. Uh, right back, um, and there was, there was one or two, but I've got to go, G Nev. I've got to go, Gary Neville. Um, just because I think, for me, Gary Neville was probably like the unsung hero of the United team. He was a guy who was the captain, the leader. Like, you wouldn't believe how much talking that guy yeah. did. Like, everybody listened to him because he was so good. Um, and he weren't a bad player, you know. Like, people will give him grief and say, gee, no, like, he weren't a He was not bad at all, yeah. mate. Honestly, he was a little sick of. Um, and then the two centre-backs, again, I've got a few down here who I could have had. Um, but it's got to be just for their partnership and how well they play together. Um, part of that team where Van der Sar keeps 13 clean sheets. He couldn't have done it without his two yeah. centre-backs in front of him, blocking everything, sliding in front of it, heading, like tackling, kicking, all that kind of stuff. It's got to be Rio Ferdinand and Nemanja Vidic. Can I just say, we've got the exact same... Have we? Four, exact same keeper. It writes itself, though. Yeah. It so does. I don't have to say mine now, because you just said it. It, it writes itself, yeah. doesn't it? So like, I, we, we, we were literally trying to pick two or three players from each position, right? Yeah. And every time we did it, there would be one player that stood out, absolutely yeah. stood out, head and shoulders above, above everyone else. Right, we're going to go into the midfield, okay? I think okay. this might be. A, I think there's one player that might be different. Okay, that's good. There on. might be one player that might be different. So, on the right wing, has to be Bex. I know this is where I struggled. Right, so you can do yours in a minute, okay. all right? So I'm going back on right wing, all right? Yeah. Just for pure, like. Just, yeah, Bex, I think people, people will still forget about, people will always remember the free kicks for sure, but look at, go and watch some videos of David Beckham and watch the quality of yeah. his delivery. And not even that, it's not always just about set plays or balls into the box, just his general play was so good as well, right? He was an yeah. underrated player, I think, in my opinion. Um, left wing, we're going Giggsy. Giggsy. Yeah? Got to be, it's a yeah. standard, without doubt. Giggsy just sort of oh, glided through, glided through, just effortless, effortlessly. Like it's like he was born with a ball at his feet. It's just always had it on that bit of string. Um, and then we're going to go into central midfield, right? And this is where I think one player might be a bit different to yours. Yeah. Um, the first player, Scolzi, has to be Scolzi. Yeah. It goes without saying, it's you know, the best player I've ever played with. The best player I've ever played with. Um, and then. And then it gets a little bit difficult, right? <laughs> and then it gets a little bit difficult. And there's a load of players that I could have put into this position. Um, Jason Park has got to be a mention, got to be a notable. Mm -hmm. um, I've got Casemiro. He's yeah, my only player. player. He's the only player from the current squad yeah. that makes it into the, to the whole squad. Yeah. So Casemiro, it can't be Casemiro though, okay? Because he's only been there for about three months, but everybody knows he's a baller, right? Um, I, I'm, I, I'm, I nearly changed my mind then. I'm not changing my mind. <laughs> I'm not changing my mind. I'm sticking with it. Roy Keane, incredible. Like, you need that player. You need that dirty little yeah. smasher, tackler, runner, all that kind of stuff, leader. Um, but this is the player I'm going to go for, and it's Michael Carrick. Um, I'm going to go for Michael Carrick just because, again, I think for players that are underrated and underappreciated, um, 
playing with him and seeing him up close and personal and seeing how good he really was. And not only that, if you ask any of the United lads how good was Michael Carrick, they will just smile and they will say, baller, absolute baller. Honestly, yeah. he was incredible. And he, he never really got the recognition he deserved, but I'm going to go for Michael Carrick in central midfield. Nice. Is it different to yours? Yeah. Just that one? We'll see it in a minute. We'll see it in a minute. Yeah. We'll see it in a minute. Um, and then strikers. Um, there's four players that could have got into my front two. Four players. Um, yeah. A couple notables first has to be Ruud van Nistelrooy and yeah. has to be Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. Mm -hmm. Notable mentions because they were beasts, honestly. Yeah. For pure finishing ability, for putting the ball in the back of the net, there's not many players who were as good as them two. At just finding corners, just finding yeah. the goal, simple as that. Um, but the front two, it has to be. It has to simply be. Um, Ronaldo and Rooney. Ronaldo yeah, and Rooney. It's got to be. It's got to be. Simple as that. It's got to be. Um, so right. come on, give me your back four and goalkeeper. Back exactly form, the same. Goalkeeper, I thought you. Um... No, you did not think me. You're such a liar. <laughs> You're a filthy liar. <laughs> I put Edwin van der Sar in. Yeah. Um, obviously, I was born in '99, so I didn't really see a lot of these players. Yeah, but yeah. when I've watched things back, then, yeah. I mean, Schmeichel could have been a shout, but Schmeichel left in 2001. So you can't, for the whole of 2000s, you can't have Schmeichel, surely. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. I think, we're, I I think, had I, Van, I think Van Sar is the right answer. Yeah, though. me too. Gary Neville, I went right back. Left back, I went Patrice Evra yeah. and Rio and Vidic, centre backs. Boom. They were just animals, weren't yeah, they? Yeah, they were. Just headed everything yeah. and that. Horrible to play against. Right then, I've gone, my two holding midfielders, I've gone Keane. Yeah, okay. I just love him. Yeah, like yeah, yeah. I read his autobiography and I just I just think what a player, like the love he had for winning. Yeah. The desire. He put a tackle in, he grafted and I love that. I love players like that. I don't reckon you'll get another Roy Keane maybe ever again, you know. No, Genuinely ever. never never get somebody that sort of intense and that just needed to win. Yeah. It's as simple as that. I need he needed, he needed to win. To win. I love players like that who just want to win everything, would do anything to win. And then obviously Scolzi, passes, oh, a joke, the, oh. the edge of the box finishing, Beautiful. a joke. And then I went Jason Park. There we go. I don't mind that whatsoever. I don't. I just love like his work rate and that. He actually came into United the first years that we were there and he's just so nice. He's the nicest guy in the yeah. world. So quiet and assuming, just, like, doesn't really say much, but yeah. he is just, again, a little dog, isn't he? Yeah, and if you want someone marked out the game, just yeah. put him on him. That's all he did. And then I went right wing, Ronaldo. Yeah. Obviously my favourite player growing up. I used to watch his skills and go out and practice him and the number seven shirt, the, the boots that he wore, I had it all. Yeah. Um, left wing, Giggsy, gliding through players. And then up front, I had Rooney. Yeah, boom. I'm, yeah. All, I'm over the moon with I'm that team. I'm over the moon with it too. I think, unbelievable start in 11. Um, we haven't even done the subs yet. We haven't even done the subs. I know I liked the uh, notables and mentions and yeah, stuff yeah. like that, but give me your free sub, come on. I've gone all out attacking, because I'm a, just an attacking Just free, out, team free, free yeah. strikers. If, my, my theory, yeah, if I, was a, if I was a manager, score five. If you can see four, score five. Boom, Brazil. That's yeah. what Brazil do. So I've gone Van Persie, oh. Van Nistelrooy, oh. And Bex. That's a heavy bench. That Come on bench, and change the game. That bench is on about half a million quid a week. <laughs> oh my god. Um, I like that. I'm, I've gone sensible. I've gone really okay. sensible bench. So just in case we get little injuries here and there, yeah. or whatever. I've got to think tactically, all right. I'm going to go for David De Gea in goal, just yeah. in case. Um, and he's a baller, so I reckon he could do a bit outfield as well, just in case, just in case he's called one. Um, I'm going to go for Roy Keane, because yeah, I'm a little bit gutted that he didn't actually make it into my yeah. start in 11. Um, and striker, I'm going to go for Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. Game changer. Game changer. Five goals. Did he score five goals as a sub one game? Four. Four. Wow. Four goals as a sub one game he scored, as a substitute. Yeah, that's unbelievable. Animal. Um, well done. Good team. Do you know what I would like to see is anybody in the comments, right, please try and get in the comments. and. Tell me who you think is the better team. I reckon there'll be that much in yeah. it. Genuinely, I think there'll be that much in it. Because I actually really like your team. Yeah, I like yours too, to be fair. Yeah, well done. <laughs> I think we've done well. We have. There Great teams. Boom. United. <laughs>